We said earlier about the importance of lighting, so let's have a more detailed look at the lighting available to us within Carrera. And for the purposes of this discussion, I'm going to divide it into three areas. Direct lighting, so the lighting directly from lights. Environmental lighting, which is the more diffuse lighting that you would get from the sky or the environment. And indirect light, which is the light bouncing from object to object within your scene. So we're going to start with direct light. And I've set up a test scene here with four spheres that recede in distance. And although in this view they look fairly evenly spaced, if we look at the top view, you can see the distance more or less doubles between each of the spheres. This one is about 25 feet from the camera, this one about 50 feet, this one 100 feet, and the last one about 200 feet. If we do a test render on that by pressing Ctrl R, we would expect to see that the intensity decreased as the spheres receded. We can see that this most distant sphere is equally lit to the closest sphere. So by default, there isn't a fall off on the spotlight, but there are some options to change that. First of all, we've got range. Now that's slightly odd because in real life, lights don't have a range. They get dimmer as they get more distant, but they don't have a point where they cut off and are no longer visible. And in fact, if we set that to 100 and do another test render, Control R, you can see the most distant sphere has disappeared and the light is only lighting the front of this particular sphere. Because we've set it to 100 and the sphere is at 100, it's only illuminating the front half of the sphere and you're getting this hard edge rather than the soft edge that you would expect to see. So let's set it at, say, 300 to make sure that all of the spheres are illuminated and we'll set the range fall off to 100. So by the time the light gets to 300 feet, it will have disappeared completely. So we would now expect to see a fall off the different spheres. Let's render again. Now we are getting a fall off. You can clearly see this most distant one is dimmer, but the first three still fairly evenly lit. There's not the graded fall off that you would expect to see. Now we know from physics that light falls off according to an inverse square law. So if you double the distance, the light intensity actually falls by four times. But the lighting fall off here is linear and you can't actually change it to an inverse square law. And that's the same for both spot and bulb lights. So let's try changing this spot to a different type of light to see we've got any better options. I'm going to try a tube light and I'm going to rotate that. I'm going to use shift rotate so it rotates by 45 degrees. I'm going to do it twice so that's a 90 degree shift. We can see here we've got the same range and fall off options. We've now got control of the fall off rate and distance squared sounds like the one we want. So let's see what that gives us. And again, we're not getting the fall off that we would expect to see. And also we've got a strange shadow on this particular sphere. And it's a hard edge shadow, whereas for a tube light we would expect to see a soft shadow because the tube is a larger area and it's certainly large enough in this scene to produce what we'd expect to be a soft shadow. Now we can make a soft shadow by using, under the effects tab, we've got the soft shadows option here, but that's independent of the size of the light. And ideally we'd want the size of the light to control the amount and the shape of the soft shadowing, and that doesn't happen. And the same is true of the shape lights as well. Also, if this were a real light in real life, we would expect to see the light and you can't see it here. So we need some options that give more realistic lighting setups, particularly for interior scenes where the light fall off is very important. Just a word on distant lights, you wouldn't expect to see any fall off from distant lights. So in fact, Carrera's distant lights are much better to use if you're mimicking the sun, which is the typical application for those.